You are watching the video Selecting the Right Database from the Finding Information series. Max is studying at TU Berlin. His supervisor has given him a subject for his academic paper. The title is Change Management as a Means of Overcoming Innovation Barriers in Companies. He goes to the Economics and Management Library to get advice. Max knows he has to look for literature in a database but he does not know how to find out which database is the right one for his topic. He approaches the librarian, Mrs. Müller, with his question. Mrs. Müller tells Max about the TU Berlin's database information system, DBIS. It covers licensed and freely available databases and describes their content. DBIS is available in German only. Mrs. Müller and Max take a closer look at the database business source complete. To find out if this database is relevant for Max, they use criteria such as subject areas, materials included, number of references, and database type. They verify the economic focus of this database by checking the subject areas and content. So, thematically, the database is relevant to his topic. Max needs current literature for his paper. So, journal articles are important. The Business Source Complete database contains references to articles from over 3,800 economics journals. The database therefore fulfills the criteria Materials Included and Number of References. In addition, 2,000 of the evaluated journals use a review procedure to guarantee quality, so Max correctly expects to find suitable literature in this database. Some of the sources are even available as full texts. The reference period indicates the period in which the literature included in the database was published. Mrs. Müller tells that some articles even date back to the 19th century and shows in the list of indexed publications. Finally, Mrs. Müller shows Max further databases with a high relevance to his research topic. So Max decides to search for literature in the databases, but he would prefer to do it at home. Mrs. Müller tells him about the two basic ways of accessing the database. As a TU member, Max can use the Virtual Private Network, or VPN, for many databases. He can access Business Source Complete from home via Shibolet. To do this, Max has to log into the virtual campus. Using the database selection criteria, Max can make clear decisions. Mrs. Müller has given him some useful advice. She and her colleagues are happy to help with other questions, either in person or by email at infocompetence at vm.tu-berlin.de.